So this is what I came up with since the thing didn't fit. But these are just the cards with the cute belly band over them. And I think it will be really cute. But keep watching for part two where I actually do a box that will fit cards of A2 size. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Tammy and today we are going to do a one sheet wonder project. I saw this on Dawn, Dawn's Stamping Thoughts. Um, her name is Dawn Griffin, Griffith and she has been a Stamping Up demonstrator for quite some time and she's hilarious. You should check her out on YouTube. But she did this and I thought, ooh, I want to try to do it. So here we go. I'm going to try it with you. So I'm going to make four cards with envelopes and a little note card holder that I could give to someone as a little gift. And I thought that that would be really cute. And it's using one sheet of designer series paper, two sheets of whisper white, and then I'm going to do some die cuts with this piece of watermelon wonder. I'm using my butterfly thinlets and also my Butterfly Basics stamp set. So you could do this with less hubbub if you wanted to, but I kind of like those things, so that's the way I'm gonna do it. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut this down, and what she says to do is to cut it at seven and an eighth by 12. So I really need to take out this little extra part and go seven and an eighth, which I believe is right there. Yes, it is. So I will cut this, and then this piece we will be working with in a little while, but this piece I need to do some scoring to. And this is the Affectionately Yours designer series paper that is in the new catalog. <sighs> My dog's gonna be crazy. So at the seven and eighth, short side, and then calling this the short side, I'm going to score it at a half of an inch and an inch. Half of an inch and an inch. And then I'm going to do that again on the other side. So I just flipped it over and do a half of an inch and an inch. Now I'm going to turn it to the long side and I'm going to score it at three and a half four, seven and three quarters, eight and a quarter, and that's it. Okay. So then you have, an, it's hard to tell sometimes with designer series paper, but we will have a shorter, there's one that's going to be shorter this way than this way. So I'm going to take my little, oh, I guess I can just look right here. So this one is three and a half inches and this one is three and three quarters inches. So this is the three and a half inch. This is the smaller end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one up on the score lines to this score line. So I'm going to make it look like a little box. Well, not really a box, you'll see. A T is more like what I'm gonna make it. So I'm cutting it to the first score line all the way over to that second score line on this. So If you need to, you might consider drawing a pencil line or something, because sometimes this designer series paper is really hard to see. And sometimes it's easier on the other side, but sometimes it's not. 
You just have to hold it at an angle. Because the patterns kind of go along with the box and it's kind of hard to see. So now we're going to fold these in. And maybe I should have cut it to the second score line. I'm not sure. I'd rather be safe than sorry. So we'll see what it happens here. I bet we do, but we'll see. I actually want this piece to this side to be out. I will need to trim those off too. So you will trim it to the second score line. Because this is going to create your little box to hold the note cards. Mm. It's hot up here in my room. Excuse me. Down here in my room, anyway. Okay, see how the box is going to form? Isn't that cute? Okay, so now I need to punch a little hole. Not a little hole, but a little... I'm going to punch a circle in here. You could use your die cuts, or if you have a punch, you can use that. I have a punch, so I'm going to use... That I know that these are now retired and you can no longer get the punches. <coughs> oh, I swallowed wrong. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to go in the middle and then in the middle of the circle, too. Just cut it like that. And we're going to use tear and tape to put this together because we don't want this box to break open on us. So we will put tear and tape down this side. And down this side. I'm just going to make my box by carefully trying to line up the score line with the cut line. And just go slowly and you'll get it. And then I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to go in here and push down to make sure that those edges are nicely sealed and this is your box isn't that cute I mean already this is a cute little project done no. <laughs> did I put that back in there yes. okay. I'm gonna put my scoreboard back I'm gonna get out my Uh, cutter again, and I need to cut this into strips of one inch by 12 inch. One of those is going to be the be belly band, and then I need to do two more one inch by 12 inch, and oops, I just totally moved that one inch by 12 inch. Then you have a little bit left over. I'm going to take two of these and cut them at five inches. And 
and then five inches again. So then I have four pieces that are one inch by five inches. And then this is trash. <clears throat> I need to cut my Whisper White card stuff too to make my cards. I'm going to cut this at five and a half. And then I will score them at 415. Or four and a quarter. 415. That's funny. That's how my mind works sometimes. And I'm just going to use my bone folder to get these nice and scored. One card. Two cards. And this is making them all matchy-matchy, you know. You could give them four different cards of whatever you've already made or whatever, because I know I do that sometimes, because obviously I make a ton of cards, so... I have a ton of cards that I like to give to people, and it seems like people do appreciate this kind of a gift. So then I have these, and then I'm going to put these here. I guess I could have made them a little longer. I don't know. I think she did five inches, so that's why I did five inches. I didn't even really think about it. I should have gone five. I could have gone five and a half and still had a little extra. I might try that. Let's see. I don't know if I have. I don't quite have two inches left, so I'm just going to wing it and just cut this down the middle or close to the middle. Pardon my dog. And then I'm going to go five and a five and a half, maybe just shy of five and a half. And then just shy of five and a half again. There we go. That's going to be better, at least in my opinion. Yes, I like that it goes stretches the length of the card. So you can go ahead and put those down if you'd like. And I'm just going to, oh, my tape is out. Oops, I just took that out of there. Let me replace this really quickly. I only have two left, so it means it's time to buy some more. I get this in bulk online. So I need to remember to order some more. So I'm telling you guys so you, you can remind me. <laughs> Let's see. And I always have to look at it to make sure I'm putting this on right. This goes down here. And then it goes around here like that. And then I get it so that the tape is almost showing at the front. There we go, okay. So let me turn all of these this way and I'll just tape them all. One. Two. Three. Did I get enough tape on this one? Yes, four. 
there. Okay. So now I'm just going to put them straight on the card about, I don't know, a quarter of the way up. There's some extra glue down there, so I'm just rubbing that off. Buttercup. Goodness gracious. And then let's go ahead and stamp on this or whatever we're going to do. Oh, a dog. I'm going to cut this at three inches because I know I won't need all of this. And I'm going to bring up a big shot. And let's figure out which little butterfly I want. I think I want this one from the bold butterfly. This one. And I'm going to do that four times. Actually, I'm going to do it five times. One for the belly band, too. So there's one. And this one I will probably need to use. A wheel. This cool little tool. So there's, I'll worry about those pieces in a minute. Let me just cut one, two. <laughs> Trying to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing here. Oops, it's moved. And the last one. Four cards and a belly band. Okay, so this little tool, I think it's just called the die cut brush. It's really cool. I mean, it really does just cut all those little pieces or pulls all those little pieces right out so you don't have to worry about it. Because sometimes, uh, Jimbo's coming up here, sometimes they're really hard to get out. And there might be a few scragglers like this that you can just easily pull push out, but sometimes they're really hard to get out of this. 
Like this is the hardest thing to clean up. And I have them stuck on a magnetic piece of, um, just a magnetic sheet, which is very nice. Those, that works out really nicely. So that one has them all out. That one has them all out. This one needs one ticket out. This one has a couple still in there. Just pulling those out. And pulling these there's three left in this one. And then this you just dump in your trash. And it's very, very easy and very nice. And then I just keep this together in my drawer. So now what I think I'm going to do is just put this here using some glue. I'll use this mono adhesive glue. My goodness. Somebody must be up. belly band around so we can get it so you start the belly band in the middle of the card holder and then you just kind of push it down so that you're kind of folding it along the edges and then you just bring it around so it meets the front again And I'm just kind of pinching it like that. And I'm going to use another little piece of tear and tape just because I love this stuff. I think it works phenomenally. And I'm just going to tear off about an inch of it. And I think I'll put it on this side. And then let's just put it on here again. So that I know it will fit. I'm gonna line them up together. Oops. <laughs> I said I was gonna line them up and I did and then I <laughs> the last second I bopped them. There we go. And I can just slide this off. make room for my butterfly and then let's see where is my stamp set I didn't even use a stamp set yet so I mean you could do this without even using a stamp set I'm thinking I'm gonna put sending wishes your way And should I do this in tip top taupe or in mint macaron? That's the big question of the day. I think I'll do it right here. Hmm. Now I'm kind of liking it over here. Oh, 
well, I think I'll just do it in tip top taupe right over here because then I could see it for sure. And you could do them all four differently if you wanted to. Yeah, that's cute. And I think I will put a couple rhinestones on the butterflies just to finish it up. There's my cat. Okay. Jambo, thank you. Let's take these and cut them. I don't know. They might already be cut, but I don't like the long strip of them. So I cut the long strip into individual rhinestones. Works out way better for me. doesn't want to lay down. I might just do one. Keep it simple, Stamper. The kiss method. And I'm going to put one on this one as well. Alrighty. I'm super excited about this. This is cute, cute. And then there is an envelope for each one. You can either put them all with their envelopes you can put the envelopes behind the cards, whatever you'd prefer. Oh my, this doesn't fit. Are you kidding me? That's why we cut these at four. Or cut those at five, I betcha. Because I bet this isn't an A2 sized card. Oh, good grief. Well, yeah, there's no way I'm fitting those into there. I should have tried by putting the envelopes in first. Well, okay, that doesn't do us any good, does it? Dagnabbit. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. So, anyway. Man, I really like that, too. You know what I'm going to do? We will improvise. I don't know how I got this tear and tape off without ripping anything, but you know what? I think that God is feeling bad for me because he knew I really liked this and now I'm bummed. But that's okay. That's okay. Things happen. 
So I'm just cutting another little inch piece off. This time I'm putting it at the very, very, very end of this. And I am going to just kiss them together. And hopefully that will work. Yes, indeed. And we'll put them together just here at the top to hold the envelope flap down and to give it. So, okay, here we go. We have one sheet wonder, <laughs> four cards, and a beautiful little thing without a belly band now, but there's still enough left over that you could do a belly band. But yeah, you have to use smaller cards. I wish I'd known that, Dawn. Maybe I didn't listen. Oh, sorry, babe. I don't know why I just called you guys babe, but whatever. Um, yeah, I think that this is still a cute card set. I think that you could still sell these at craft fairs. I think that you could give them to someone for a birthday present or something like that. I think it is really cute, and I think it would be really cute with them in here, but... Yeah, and I don't know, maybe you should make your own envelopes if you're going to have it go in there, because I don't know what size that is, if it's 5 by... Wait, that was totally me. That was totally me knocking you down, sorry about that. Let's see what the size is of this 5 by three and three quarters, so it's probably a little less than three and three quarters for your finished card. Probably five by three and a half would be best. So maybe I'll make some cards now to go with that. <laughs> Whew. All right, well, thanks for watching. Sorry it was a goof, but I think that they still turned out cute. So I'm still okay with it. Bye. So this is what I came up with since the thing didn't fit. But these are just the cards with the cute belly band over them. And I think it will be really cute. But keep watching for part two where I actually do a box that will fit cards of A2 size. Thank you.